Hey guys, I'm back with another video on AI and how to use AI not for creating just final pieces in AI, but how to use AI to create um, assets and uh, other things that you could use in other art pieces. And that's what this one is going to be. This is going to be, I'm going to show you how to take, um, how to make AI generated brushes that you can use in both Photoshop and Procreate. And let me just give you a little bit of background on this. Um, I've had my YouTube channel up for a while. Uh, back in the day, I did this tutorial, and I'll put a link to it in the bottom. Um, I was doing tutorials on a program called Infinity Designer. By the way, this brush, I actually should have put Infinity Designer in the front. Um, what I'm going to show you will work in Infinity as well. So I used to love blood brushes. I used to just use them all times and make uh, stuff like this. And they're still really cool. But you can make any kind of brush you want. And uh, a lot of grunge brushes help me a lot. Smoke brushes. Stuff like that. So th this really applies to everything. But we're going to do kind of... I'm going to kind of do blood brushes again to show you guys how this works. And honestly, how cool this is. I could never do back when i did this i literally was putting taking a white piece of paper throwing black like ink and i was kind of making my own concoctions of like black corn syrup and actual ink and i, I mean guys it was and then i had to take the pictures of them edit it it was literally a whole thing now i just tell ai you know, hey, I want blood drips. I want like crazy smoke patterns, like whatever. And I'm going to show you guys. Here's an example. And th this is going to kind of be like a, I, I do think I am going to do an actual update to that tutorial. But for now, I'm just going to kind of show you the concept. I'm going to keep this video quick and show you how to do this. So this is one of my favorite pieces I got out of AI. And for those who are not familiar with AI, we're using, I used Midjourney for this. There are a couple AIs, but I feel for the Photoshop brushes, Midjourney was my favorite for this specific thing. So I'm not going to show you how to use Midjourney on this. I'm not going to show actual Midjourney generating these. Uh, but if you're interested in this and you want to start getting into AI for assets and stuff, Midjourney would be my recommendation. There's tons of videos on you know, how, how to get started in it. It's like a Discord thing. So I, I'm going to leave you guys at that. If you want more, there's definitely more information. So this is my favorite one, but they don't all come out like this. Um, let me show you what I did. So basically in Midjourney, this was what I told AI I wanted ultimately to get my best quality drips. Um, you're not allowed to say the word blood in Midjourney, so I had to use paint, and I was using ink. I, I was using a couple different things, but that's why I didn't do a one to one with the blood brushes because I can't say that. Let me jump over to my Midjourney account just to show you, and this is what some of the results were. Let's just kind of go through these, and I just want to kind of show you guys what the text was that I used. I'm going through these reverse. Uh, some of these I tried to use. Thick oiled paint smeared on canvas, um, alpha Photoshop brush. So I'm just kind of showing you some of the different results that I got quickly. Uh, basically, the AI, you just want to tell it what you want, basically. However, you got to be specific with it and you're still going to have to edit. So, like this one right here, um, this is what I'm going to show you next. The next thing we're going to show you is like, we're going to have to do some work to this. It's not just going to work like right out of the box, but um, see like stuff like this. I I'd never be able to make this in real life by, you know, I would I'd basically have to draw this and then make a brush out of a drawing. But like, you know, AI is just such a new tool that's giving it, it, the results are insane. Um, I tried wood like dripping wood. You know, so like get creative with this uh, tattoo, like a, a drippy tattoo. So um, a lot there's this was ultimately my favorite. Uh, this one's really good. Um, this th these are all so good. I'm going to click through a couple right here just to kind of show you some of the results I was getting. So let's jump in back into Photoshop. OK, so this this one I opened uh, because I'm going to show you two things in it. 
one so this is how it comes in and it looks good but there's a couple issues with it uh the first thing you want to do is go to windows and go to info and we want to take this info let me show you how this works basically um wherever you mouse over is going to show you what your colors are in the rgb section over here and uh zero is going to be a true black so that right there is zero and then uh 255 is actually pure white so as you can see we're not quite at 255 with any of this here so that's going to when we make our brush if it's if the white is not at 255 then you're going to get like a little bit of a square box around your brush and we don't want that so the first step is we're going to make a levels uh, layer okay and then in the levels layer we're going to want to take the end here the uh, right side is going to be the whites that we want to pump up and we just want to bring it in and kind of keep bringing our mouse over here until we get it like uh, 255 range so as you can see here there's like the slash now so the 241 is basically what it was and now it's 255 so we can also play with the midtones if we feel that that gave it too much like took away some detail we didn't like or we want to like still play with it make it lighter or darker um you know we we still have two other ranges that we can play with a little bit more so we just want to make sure that we're in the 255 range and then um one more thing before we define this into a brush this could be good to go right now like you could look at this and say yes this is the brush i want um up here there's going to be a couple places where i don't know if you can see hopefully you can see this at home but um there's like a real light color that's trailing off here and we want to make sure stuff like that gets taken out so we're going to make a new layer and uh, honestly, the easiest way to do that is just take a brush, and maybe it's one of the new brushes we created with, um, you know, with this tutorial. So, and all we want to do is just paint some of that stuff out, and we can even like drop the opacity uh, up here down to like 30 or something, and that way it's not such like a harsh line, and we kind of like work it out a little bit. But you definitely want to make sure if there's lines and sometimes you get like just too many stray dots uh you just kind of want to clean the edges up a little bit so some of this we can clean up you know this is at your own discretion here and um let's say we want to kind of turn this more into just this big blob here is the only part of the brush we don't want this we don't want a lot of these trails uh, we just kind of want to clean these two out. That also is going to be easy. We're going to hit C for crop or go over and click the crop tool. We're going to kind of crop it to where we want it, to where we think a good brush is going to work. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to go on that layer and we're just going to paint out what we don't want. And, you know, it's as easy as that. So this is really it. You just want to get in there, get the brush you want. Uh, we can kind of clean this up a little bit more, go down to a low opacity, and just kind of just kind of clean it up. So now that this is cleaned up, we want to turn this into a brush. All you got to do is we're going to hit uh, Command A or Command Control, whatever, depending on if you're a PC or not. Uh, Command or Control A to select all. Okay, once everything's selected, we're going to go down. And we're gonna to go to edit and we're gonna to go to define brush preset and we're gonna name the brush and uh, okay we've named the brush we have the brush let me just fill this up with the color let me shrink this down a little bit and let's choose like a cool let's go with like a green and there we go we got the brush well then let me turn my opacity back up there we go, simple as that. You can go in now, let's go to the brush palette. So if we go to window, uh, let's first go to brushes so I can show you, they're gonna come up on the bottom here. This was the one we just did. Uh, we're gonna go over to brush settings 
there's a bunch of different stuff we can now do to it. So we can start doing size jitters, uh, scattering, you know, so now we have, you know, kind of a, like more of a uh, brush that we can use for a full background, some, some, something like that. So there's all kinds of uh, stuff we can do. Wet edges is another good one. Um, so you, you can still play with that. Now, to make this in Procreate, let me go over here. This is one that I had. This was also the same thing. It was a longer picture. I cropped it in, uh, you know, got the whites white and got rid of some of these edge things. Um, the one thing that we need to do different for Procreate is we need to come down to our effects here and we need to add an invert effect because Procreate wants the negative space to be black instead of white. So th this is what Procreate wants, is a negative. And when you're in Procreate, um, you're gonna go to New Brush. And once you bring up a new brush, it's gonna bring up this. You wanna go to Shape, and then you're gonna wanna go up to Edit up here. And then you're gonna wanna import either from like iCloud or if you got a newer uh, iPad that you can connect a hard drive to, then uh, you can do that. But you wanna get the picture on here and it's as simple as that. And then you have all these other, uh, you know, things that you could do to, you know, get that brush working exactly how you want to. So that's it. I I'm just gonna kinda leave it at that. I might do some tutorials in the future with this because Photoshop brushes are just a huge thing in its own. And this is just like the literal how to do it, um, how to get started and get going with it. But I wanted to show you some of the other stuff I came up with because it's not, you know, we just did the drip brushes there because those to me are the funnest. But like, I mean, man, I was typing in biomech brushes, like grunge, bro, like, man, look at how much detail is in that grunge brush. It's insane. Usually brushes are taken from real life things. You take a picture of it and then you, you know, you're turning photos, photos into brushes. This AI is, honestly, it's going to revolutionize the way brushes look, I think. So I'm glad. I think I think I might be the first tutorial to get out there with this, this concept. So I don't know. But look at this. I mean, that is insane. I was just typing in, like, Biomech brush. So, guys, I love it. I, AI, you know, I get it with some people where they're, like, not liking it, but because they think it's going to replace stuff, but it's it's a new tool. And any Photoshop artist is, come on, that is an awesome brush. And you guys are going to be able to make more brushes that are even going to be way cooler than this. So I hope you dig the tutorial. I got a lot of videos coming up that are similar things, how to make assets in AI, not necessarily final pieces in AI. Like and subscribe, all that stuff, guys. Till next time.